Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at a very small, compact travel trailer. It has bunk beds and it is great for going off the grid, off the road. Super awesome and nice. This is a 2022 Jayco J Feather Micro model 171BH. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first and the inside features then. We're gonna give you three things we love about the Jayco and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Again, welcome back to another video today i am super excited to be showing you this off the grid off the road travel trailer from jayco the micro but before i begin i would like to say hi to will hey will hey guys how's it going today it's going good i'm super excited to take a look at this jayco because jayco's were so hot and so popular at the tampa show yes um they're definitely kicking by and, and doing great things so i'm excited to show more especially this segment will with like kind of yeah. like the awesome. rugged the yeah. all so nice will let's begin all right Model is 171BH. The actual tip to tip length of this travel trailer is 20 feet 2 inches. The dry weight, 3,930 pounds, and that hitch weight is 395 pounds. Very lightweight travel trailer, but remember, you should always use weight distribution bars. Right up, right up front here, Will, we do have a nice power tongue jack. Propane tanks go here and your batteries go here. Now, unlike your traditional travel trailers, this one's kind of more rounded, more right. uh, more teardrop shape like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. A little bit more aerodynamic. It's gonna be a little bit different on the inside. And again, the reason why we say it's kind of like off the off grid is because look at this. Look at these bumpers. These bumpers are designed to help protect the travel trailer against like howdy against rocks or anything when you do hit the side. You know, when you are going off the grid and you scrape up against them, it's not scraping up against the side of the travel trailer. That's right. Right here, we do have the Furion side camera prep marker lights. And then right here, we do got some really nice storage. Cool. This does have manual stabilizing jacks, which I actually don't hate that in this type of travel trailer. Because again, you're not always going to flat places. Right. You know what I'm saying? You, you, you sometimes are going to be going off the grid. Coming on down the side here, because this is a Jayco, you do got the two-year warranty, three-year structural, very nice. Nice power awning with LED lights, okay? And then right here, we do have the very nice fold-up steps right there. And then coming on down the side here, we got speakers on the outside, right here. Nice little, um, what would you call this? Like a tire guard type thing. Something like that, yep. Power on the outside, hook up for TV on the outside. And then look at these tires, Will. They're the Goodyear tires. I love those. LT225-75R16. Very nice. And look at the way the tire looks. Yeah, again, rugged look. Yeah, single axle and everything. Check this out. Jayco, you got the J Smart, which again, is that prep for the side cameras all the way around it if you want that. Jayco's using the Asdale on this wow. unit, which is a green base material and it will never delaminate on you. And even though this is a smaller unit, it has the Glacier package, which is a heated and closed underbelly with heat pads on the tanks. Good for those four season temperatures. Again, always four seasons. Depends on where you are. Don't go to Alaska in the winter. Right. And then coming around the back, well, dang, Navin, look what we got going on here. It Interesting. Is for a Furion backup camera. The does have a ladder, a different type of ladder that we haven't seen. Spare tire, spare tire carrier, very nice. No bumper for the stinky slinky, but if you look underneath, there is storage for the stinky slinky oh, right, yeah, underneath right there. there. And there is a ladder to get up on the roof. You feel good with that one or no? Uh, I guess what we're about to find out. Let's go up there and take a look. Up here on the roof, you can see it's a nice one piece TPO roof. You kind of have like a luggage rack if you want to put some stuff up there. Single AC unit. Wine guard digital antenna, and you can see that there is solar for the roof. Careful. Great, and if you haven't already, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. What are the RV salesmen taking his fat ass up on the roof, showing you what features the roof has to offer? Nobody. Nobody. What do you think of that ladder? Is it okay? Interesting. Okay. I like the ladder. There's some things that they could change to it. Okay. And then coming around the side, Will. 
satellite hookup right there. Okay. Love these doors. Yes. Love these. Look at them. The bunk bed is currently flipped up. You can use it for storage. You got lights here. And then just like this, well, bada bing, bada boom. Now it's a bunk bed. Right. Super, super nice. We'll show you more of this on the inside. Okay. Very nice. Finishing up right there is where you're dumping your black and gray tank. Okay. 30 amp unit. Here's where the plug-in is. I love the way the wheels look. You know what I'm saying? Right. Super, super nice. Outdoor shower here, potable water. Potable, potable. And for everybody who saw us at the show on Saturday, Sunday, and I couldn't do my potables anymore, I do apologize. <laughs> it's hard to hit with the vocal cord. Black tank flush, city water connection, water heater right here, and then right here, Will, just uh, another side of the storage. There we go. There we go, with the battery disconnect. Well, Will, the outside of this travel trailer looks great, but the inside does look even better. Let's go, take a look. All right. Here we go now. Check out the inside, Sir William. All right, up front, you got the bed right here. Dinette right here, kitchen. Bunks back here. And all the way in the back is that bathroom. Mm -mm -mm. Where are we starting, up front? Uh, yes, sir. Well, we'll start up front. Up front here in the bunk bed area, it is an east to west bed, okay? Okay. One of the downfalls is the inside person is going to have to climb over. Right. But one of the gains is a small travel trailer like this, um, it's long enough for real size adults to sleep on. Yes. Right over here, Will. A nice. That's a nice tower of power right there. Sure is. We do have the window right here that opens, and it does come with a 32 inch TV right there, which is very nice. And then right over here, some storage. Can you show that, Sir William? Okay. Very nice. Nice storage. Then over here, how do you feel about that storage? Looks pretty good. Yes, sir. And then let's see if there's storage underneath the bed. Not like normal, but oh, under there. Oh, hang on a second. Oh, that's pretty neat. Oh, very cool. You got that one right there. And then this one. You're really struggling. There. Yes, right there. Yeah, I'm struggling with this. When things have to go in precisely, there you go. I'm not good with precise stuff, America. Right here, power fan. Super nice for a travel show like this. Okay. Again, a lot of times people are going to be going with places when they don't have AC. Storage above there. And right here. How does that make you feel? Pretty good. <laughs> Look at this huge window, Will. That's actually this. nice, yeah. I really, really do love this. Dinette right here. It does drop down to make a bed. And a pretty fantastic discount there that we cannot advertise on YouTube, <laughs> so we won't. And then check this out, storage. Okay. Really, really nice storage, Will. Um, And again, this bed does drop down to make a bed. Okay. Will, would you like to show us the kitchen? Of course, but before I do, I want to go ahead and give a quick reminder. We are now partnered with our RV retailer, which is a nationwide network of dealers, now up to about 93 locations, wow. which is awesome. For anybody looking to buy this trailer or any other RV, make sure to check out our website, mattsrvreviews.com. Click one of the three tabs and Matt and I will personally oversee to make sure you get a phenomenal sale price, yes. an awesome buying experience, and just the best service overall. Yes, absolutely. Well, well you mixed it up again, I but did. it's okay. It's okay. Let's continue with the kitchen. All right, right over here we got a nice convection microwave. Very one nice. Smaller ones. And some storage right here. Yes. Pretty good head height in here for, for the smaller for small trailer. Yeah. Um, this is a uh, nice little backsplash there. It's just like a wallpaper type okay. thing. Okay. Okay. Three burner Furion cooktop. Ooh. The blue lights. No oven. Again, you're getting that convection microwave. Okay. Some drawers right here. And again, not a problem in such a small trailer right, like this. Right, right. Nice little sink right here. Yes, sir. And some storage underneath. Anything okay. right there? Nope. Nope, nothing right there. Right over here, you do have a Furion refrigerator. Very nice. And freezer. So this is the... Uh, 12 volt compressor fridge, which I absolutely love. Good size. Yes. And some drawer space there. Yes, sir. I think that's it, right? Yep. It's now time for the shower test. Okay. I don't have high hopes for this. It's small. For those of you who don't know, Willis is staggering six foot three. Actually, you know what? It is better than expected. It is, yeah. Wow. Wow. Actually, not bad. I got some. Will. Light. That's crazy. For this size, 
I'm definitely gonna pass it. Bing! That's the shower test seal of approval. And again, yeah, that's well, surprising. I 100% agree. If it was like a 26 footer, no. right, right. I mean, no, even in a 26 footer, I mean, that's passing. I mean, the, room. the sh you know what it is? The shower part the is dome. in the right spot. Yeah. The dome. Nice little medicine cabinet here, sink. Okay, a little bit of storage underneath there. Now this one won't pass. Something that's not gonna pass. Plastic. Whomp, whomp. How's the position though? The plit. I mean, the position. You know, might. A little might... tight with the door closed. Right, but again, well, twenty feet two inches yeah. tip to tip. That's yeah. how I gotta look at it. So, pretty decent bathroom. We're not gonna give it a strike, but definitely not getting a prime poop position. Okay. Cool. And then come on through over here. Again, guys, single axle. I mean, this is really, really nice. And then over here is the bunk bed area. Okay. We do have a nice top, top bunk right here. And then the really nice lower bunk right over here. And again, as we saw from the outside, you can access some of that storage. There was D-rings there, and the beds do flip cool. up out of the way. That's very nice. And as we saw, there was solar on the roof. Really nice trailer, really nice unit. And again, well, this is, this is the newest segment of the uh travel trailers and a lot of people want these but they don't want to spend a hundred grand on a black series you right, know what I'm saying? Right. or one of those imperial outdoors this this way they can get that off-road ness without you know being at a motorhome price for a small travel trailer yep well well everybody's dying to know what the msrp is and we will tell everybody in a minute but before we do well it's now time we give everybody three things we love about this travel trailer and three things we don't like about it will what do we do first? Three things we dislike. This is gonna be very tough. I know. Very tough. I do have the first one. Okay. Dislike number one, Will, for me, I love this storage, but because of that, I don't know the weight capacity on the bunks, but I do know the top bunks always has a, a weight limit, but with this bottom bunk, it's also going to have a weight limit right. because it's storage. It might be 150 pounds. It might be 200 pounds. I actually don't even know the weight but it's not gonna be one of those super solid firm bunk beds. You know, you're definitely gonna need to be um, worried about the weight right there. For sure. Yes, sir. That is number one. Well, dislike number two? Okay, I'm in a combo because it's two little things. Again, it's a small trailer. There's almost no counter space. Yep. And they should have done a flip up here. Okay, okay. So that's 2.5. And the full two is that if you watch out, when that door opens, it doesn't open all the way because it oh, hits. Oh, yeah, that. it's hitting the knob. Yeah, and it's going to cause damage to the beautiful farmhouse look. Over time, so. over time. Great point, Will. Yep. That's number two, Will. And then number three, um, I'm going to say it's the ladder. So, uh, what I mean with the ladder, what you guys couldn't see, there was no place for me to hold on to the roof. I mean, you guys might have seen that. But like, there was no place for me to be onto the roof to climb back on down yeah, the ladder. Yeah. Just something that I'm not a super huge fan of. But again, guys, that's only if you are climbing up on the roof. Yep. Um, but you know what? No, no, that's not because I feel like the person who's buying this is going to be climbing up on the right. roof. Right. Because they are more of that. Again, that's just tricky. Just Could, a little handle or something. A little something, or just get a U step. Thank you, steps. <laughs> um, but again, you know that that I wasn't a fan of. Okay. Well, well, that's three things we don't like about it. Now it's time for three things we love about this travel trailer. Here's what I'm gonna say. Um, first and foremost, how many? Um, I, I I was talking about how this bunk does have a weight limit. I absolutely love the fact that it's with the bottom bed swings up. I love that too. I love the door and I love the D rings. You know. Yep. It, it makes it, you know, this is a small travel trailer. People don't have a lot of size in this. And they really did a good job just functioning it, kind of making like a little toy hauler. If you have a bicycle or a dog crate or something, you can actually put it in here while transporting. I absolutely love that. That well, is number one. Well, number two. So if you turn around, it's oh, weird. We switch. wouldn't normally say this, but. Talk to me. For this size trailer, I actually am like big props to them with this bathroom. They did a great job. Again, normally everything's failing and the bathroom is just terrible. It's not great, don't get me wrong, um, but the size shower that they were able to fit in here, yep. the toilet placement's decent, and you still get good counter space around that sink. It's like their engineer did some pretty good work on this. And the key word, the key terminology, Will, is 20 feet, two inches, right. tip to tip. Right, Sweet, doing a great job. So that's number two. And then, well, number three, we can stay inside. But it's the show, show right over there, Well, 
It's the off the road rugged yes. looking tires from Goodyear. I like the little fender flare, the, the little bumper, thing. the glacier package, and the double Asdale. The Asdale's green base material that will never delaminate on you. I love that for this size travel trailer, and it's really awesome, especially the insulation package. A lot of times, you're not getting great insulation on these small travel trailers, so I think they knocked it out of the park. Yes. And you know what, Will? What? I'm gonna break the rules today. You know uh -oh. what time it is? It's. Oh, sorry. <laughs> you know what time it is, Will? It's now time for the MSRP. MSRP on this unit here. Stock number 0351. MSRP is $44,757. Sale price. Uh -oh. Only because the unit's in here. And I'm breaking the rules, America. Leave a comment down below. Let me know if you like what I break.